we talked this afternoon I, we talked this morning about you know the next couple of days uh, you know he's feeling he's feeling better so uh, you know we think that uh, he'll be good to go tomorrow and then you know hopefully back it up you know against Miley on Tuesday night Yeah, it has been. No, you, you, you never know how a game's going to play out. You know, just, you know, the last three times he's pinched hit, you know, the Colorado game, uh, you know, that stretched the lead for us. It was big on, you know, last Saturday night. Uh, obviously, the, you know, yesterday with a, with a big homer and today, obviously, that was clutch. So, yeah. Like I said, you, you, you know, that's why we play, because you don't know how a game's going to, from uh, from the first pitch on, you don't know what's going to happen. But, you know, today it worked in our favor. <laughs> that was, uh, you know, with, uh, you know, we, you know, going in, going into the game, we know if Q gets an at bat, you know, we're going to use a pitcher there uh, to keep, uh, you know, Q off uh, the base pass. But uh, so Tyson was prompted and he knew going in, you know, you've, uh, you know, we've shown some flexibility, you know, with our pitchers, you know, this year uh, with cash and even go back to last year with certain, certain base runners. You know, a couple of our catchers and Q. So, yeah, the well, you know, it, it was funny. I was watching the play develop, and I thought that uh, Smitty gave him the. Smitty gave him this one, didn't he? And uh, Tyson slid anyway. <laughs> so, we got to have Smith and Ross talk a little bit. Because he had a pretty good stride. Well, you know, <clears throat> that was it. It was, a, it was a good call by Hoffy. You know, it was a good call by Hoffy. You know, Bonifacio sort of juggled that ball, and you know, Tyson kept going, didn't break stride. So, you know, good job by Tyson. What stood out? And that's unnerving, believe me. As a pitcher, pinch running, that is. I mean, you guys might find this hard to believe, but I, I did that once, or maybe twice in San Francisco. We might have to, we might have to research that, Corey. Yeah. <laughs> uh, whether I pinch ran when I was in the National League, but. It's, it's not a it's not a great feeling. Because your your first thought is, don't get picked off, don't do anything stupid, you know, don't get uh, lined into a double play. All those things cross your mind. So, you know, your your leads are uh, your leads are short. You're a little tentative, but you know, Tyson underway is pretty good running. Did you get the uh, wave around third to score on us? I did not. I can't no, no. I, I can't remember this situation, Derek. But I don't I don't think that. Uh, it was one of those things where we might have been out of players or something, short bench that I had to blame. Yeah. Uh, you talked about the quality of some of those at-bats, not, not even just the ones that uh, counted for runs, but you know, the Seth Smith block yeah. in that inning. And well, you know, the way that uh, you know inning developed, it was, you know, it was, a, it was a good one. There's a lot of at-bats along the way that, you know, Tommy with, you know, reached out and poked the ball in the center, you know, Cabby with, with a walk. You know, we tried to hit and run there. He fouled off. A, you know, pretty good low fastball. Uh, put the bun on, took it off. Uh, you know, laid off some high fastballs. You know, Will didn't get the bun down, but you know, Seth in a good situation, first and second with our hottest hitter. Uh, you know, had a good swing on one, fouled back, but laid off some borderline pitches, which was good to see. And then uh, you know, Chase had a good swing on two and zero foul ball, and then a you know, then a fly ball to right. So, you know, it, it worked out. But I thought, uh, you know, Q laid off a couple, had a good swing, and then he got a ball up, you know, out over and you know hit the hard grounder into left, and then the and then Jed off the you know the big uh, you know, the big reliever, good swing, you know, line drive oppo, uh, drove it to right center, you know that was that was key, you know, not only, I mean those back to back hits by Q and, and Jed were, you know, what turned out to be the game. Kennedy, Kennedy was great. You know, a little, little tough in the second. Had to work out of a jam. Uh, pitch count got elevated, but overall, again, you know, his, he's held his stuff the whole year. As far as velocity, uh, his breaking ball's gotten a little better as the season uh, has went on. Good change, but you know, he deserved that one. I mean, he's been, uh, you know, he's been a victim of, you know, not a lot of runs. I mean, you look, you look across the board at his numbers. Look at the walks to punch. Look at the innings, uh, the hits, the innings pitched, uh, you know, all that stuff. I mean, he's, it's, it's been good. We just haven't scored for him. So he was deserving of that. Uh, I'm glad we got it done in the bottom half of the sixth form. He deserved to win. Was a cold bunt? Yes. Yeah. Yes. 
think the Ian out in that situation, the pinch hit, Tommy, uh, Ian's going pretty good. How long do you think about that decision to pull your starter to, to have Tommy go in? Well, we're down one nothing. You know, we have, you know, we have 12 outs left. You know, Ian might have, you know, where Ian was pitch count, he was in the high 90s. You know, he made a, he might have had one more inning. So if he hits, he probably, if, and we don't score, he goes out and gets one more. Uh, you know, I felt with, uh, you know, how we're swinging, how we're scoring or not scoring, we got to try to score. And, you know, Tommy got us started.